People prefer to see your petulance over your people pleasing because it's more real and it actually feels safe to them. It builds trust. So every time you get in your head, oh no, I ruined everything because I wasn't in my fawning, people pleasing, sweet, good girl programming, I actually showed that I was a petty bitch. Guess what? That's attractive. It's way more attractive to be somebody real than to be somebody fake and fawning because you really can't trust somebody that never shows you other sides and just kind of always has good girl going on. So whenever you, you get into that idea that, oh no, I ruined everything, don't catastrophize it. Really realize that actually this created more truth in your relationship and actually they're going to like you more for it. They're going to maybe be, I mean, of course, maybe it was, maybe you had a fight and you were showing a petulance and a cruelty and a meanness that was your shadow and you regret it, but own up to that and say, Hey, you know, I get defensive and I do X be nice and own up to your thing and apologize. But then realize that people are not going to hold that against you. They're not going to think, man, I, um, she is the worst person. They're going to think, well, she's, she had this very human reaction to this and I have, I felt like that before and I get it. I mean, people actually like that because they feel then safe to show they're ugly to you. And that just brings more dimensional character and truth to the dynamic. Now, of course, it doesn't mean you to be getting, you want to get away with being an asshole. I'm just saying that when you get into that point, that really self-critical state where you think I ruined everything because I showed my feelings or I, uh, I was petty or I just showed any kind of humanity that wasn't just some rigid doll, then realize that actually it builds a lot of love and trust and have faith. Don't be so ready to hate yourself. Like there's a song in Crazy Ex-Girlfriend called I Ruined Everything, You Stupid Bitch. And it's an example of when you did something and then you think, well, it's over now. They've seen me. They've seen this. They know the secret evil side of me. That's kind of what people, we get into that mentality. Don't let beat yourself up about it. Own up to the fact that, yeah, I was a petty bitch. I'm sorry. I do this out of a defensive mechanism. I'm cocky. I'm a, you know, say whatever you got to say. And then say you're sorry, genuinely. And then realize that it's going to be okay. It's not the end of the world. And that person most likely likes you a little bit more, even though that seems counterintuitive. It is true. Think about the times when somebody showed other sides to you. Like, yes, sometimes you're scared. Sometimes you think, you know, but other times you actually see them in a new light. You see, oh, this is where their insecurity is or, oh, they are, they feel really worthless. So they're kind of, you know, boosting themselves up in front of me right now and kind of having this vengeful take, but you, you get a little sense of them and you, you like them, you know? So just realize that you didn't ruin everything. You're actually, you're actually more likable now. Congratulations. It seems crazy, but nobody likes a good girl. Nobody likes a people pleaser. We like petulant bitches, petulant assholes, people that are more about the truth of what they feel than trying to convince you they're a good person all the time, 24 seven. We're all dimensional. We all have bad sides. It's about whether you can own up to your bad and apologize and also apologize for your fake good. I think we should apologize for our phoniness just as much as our evil.